doing something a little different today. I have a 48 volt golf cart and just got a 48 volt inverter. It'll take that 48 volts and make 120 volts AC. That's where it's going to live. Right now there's a 12 volt converter in there. Um, it takes 48 volts and makes 12 volts DC. That way I can run the headlights and things like a 12 volt lawn sprayer and stuff like that. But I want to be able to run things like a uh, uh, portable bandsaw, uh, leaf blower, that sort of stuff from the golf cart. And I have plenty of battery to do it. Uh, this inverter was pretty cheap. It's about 48, uh, sorry, uh, about $250. And that included an external uh, power switch. Um, I might mount, mount it somewhere up there in the dash or somewhere on the front panel there. Fortunately it's nice and smooth so it's not like there's a switch that's going to get caught. So, uh, as a temporary measure, I have big alligator clips. And if I measure from back here, which is the uh, furthest most battery negative terminal and the closest positive terminal on this battery I get 48 volts between the two or a little more actually I think I'm getting around 50 right now the battery bank has just been recharged so let me verify that and then I'll go ahead and hook up the alligator leads and go from there Fifteen and a half volts. Instructions actually call for ten gauge wire. It's only about thirty seven, thirty eight amps running the inverter at full power. Um, I'm using number six wire is what I'm gonna end up hard wiring it with. Uh, right now I've got these uh, alligator clips temporarily hooked on and this is 10 gauge wire. I do have a 48 volt 50 amp circuit breaker installed. So now I have power applied. Go ahead and start it up. And it's normal to see a uh, pulsing waveform. This is an old CRT monitor and these cameras don't show the nice smooth waveform. But it is a beautiful looking sine wave. About 119 volts. Got a uh, 1500 watt heat gun here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It's uh, 1534 watts. Drawing 13 amps. And the voltage is staying up nicely. 117 volts. And the waveform still looks pretty good, even under max load. So all I need to do now is make a bracket 
I'll make an L-shaped bracket. There's actually some flooring down there. So I'll put the uh, bottom part of the L against that and bolt it in place. And have the inverter mounted horizontal. I just have to be careful of uh, water intrusion. Water can get past the seat and there's actually drain holes in the top. And it's open all the way to the floor down there and you can tell by the leaves and everything else. This gets a fair amount of outside use. Use it for a lot of lawn work. And I don't want any of that stuff getting into the inverter so I have to build a, a protective cover while still allowing airflow. So for 250 bucks I think this one's probably a keeper. Um, I don't intend on running anything quite as heavy as a heat gun, but it is good to know that it's capable of running it. That's all. Thanks for watching.